Welcome back, everyone. As you know, me and my wife are sitting here about to have a new beautiful baby boy. Um, Hila's due actually today, but we're waiting it out. It should be happening any day now. We're ho- we're kind of hoping it's on Wednesday. That way his birthday can be 22222. But as we sit here and uh, are waiting... One gnome is on the internet um, um, attacking my my beautiful pregnant wife. This man is a disgrace. And, you know, usually, I don't know. It's like you're you're torn between, like, is he's so irrelevant. It's like, why even bother responding? But on the other hand, this video is such a slam dunk. I think it's worth, uh, it's worth talking about. And, I mean, this man just is so pathetic he's such a bottom feeder uh uh, let me show you so during the steamies me and uh deaf noodles of course mentioned keemstar a few he was nominated for uh, a couple awards i mean congratulations to him i think he won one or two i don't remember exactly midlife crisis i think he won congratulations to him so he tweeted out a clip and he says, in the process of trying to roast slander me, Kimstar really doesn't know what slander means. I mean, he really doesn't. It's incredible for someone who does it on a daily basis. They are bullying my 21-year-old assistant for getting her teeth fixed. Now she's being harassed by these H3H3 H3 fans. I'm fair game, of course. I'm a public figure. She is not. Oh, this is just so rich. So ironic. It's almost uh, baffling, you know, because Keemstar has basically made it a career after going uh, uh, after my significant other, calling her a horse, calling AB's significant other a witch. Um, Lena, especially AB's wife, is not even a public figure. I mean, you, uh, Ela, I guess you could say she's a public figure or whatever. But here, let's see. Let's see if me and Def Noodles were harassing his 21 year old assistant. Let's watch. Yeah. But Keemstar, but all- yeah, Keemstar. Wow! Well. Congratulations, Keemstar. Hey, guy. Stupid bitch. And my my condolences to his uh his, his, his girlfriend. girlfriends. Can you imagine being in your forties and dating somebody who still has braces on? I can't, man. I really can't. That's just that's a lot, especially when you have a young daughter who's probably closer in age to the girlfriend. Yeah. Than to him. That's- a ten-year-old fan right away. Ten year old. Ten year old. <laughs> what? Okay, EDP. <laughs> Games, say that again. A uh, ten year old fan right away. Whoa. He Keem's just not on his way to get a cupcake or anything, is he? <laughs> yeah. Well, did you guys identify he's so he wants to be the victim so bad, you guys. They're bowling and harassing my girlfriend. Uh pathetic, dude. Literally we're roasting you. When do we criticize your girlfriend? Okay, you're the one that's dating a girl with braces. Now, I was I, I there's nothing wrong with getting braces. I had braces when I was 17, you know? I think most people associate braces with with youth. I mean, obviously you can get them when you're older, but obvious that the point is obvious, dude. Listen. He's trying to say like we're bullying his 21-year-old girlfriend. I'll tell you why he's saying this. It's because he thinks if he can successfully frame it like this, he can get me in trouble with YouTube. Because you know he's writing emails to YouTube nonstop about how we're harassing his girlfriend. Uh, we're not, though. Obviously, the criticism is against him. I mean, clearly, I just hope that he funds whatever trauma comes later. I mean, she's going to need lots of therapy from dating him at that young age. So I hope they have some kind of like escrow account set up for therapy future therapy if not you know i highly recommend that that'd be a good idea but okay there it is keemstar says we are harassing his 21 year old girlfriend uh no sorry bro it's not happening i mean he's the one that's spamming her on all the social media accounts i don't know anything about it. i don't know her name i don't know her instagram i don't i don't follow that so uh what I, what is ex- specifically ironic is that keemstar now this is from let's see 2 days ago we were at home. That You were having contractions at that moment, actually. We thought we were about to go to the hospital. 
Kim Startuya, I keep getting weird vibes that this dude really wants me to F his wife while he sits in the corner. I'm not interested, but I will box you. Sign the contract. Pretty sure Ela would rather... Uh, shoot myself in the head. She said shoot herself in the head. I'm, I'm pretty sure Ela would rather uh, use a cactus to get off than uh, enter any kind of uh, situation with Keemstar. No, I'm not boxing you. Sorry, bro. I actually have better things to do, unlike you. You know what I mean? Like, I'm busy. I know you have a lot of time on your hand. But here, here's when it gets really good. He continues. Um, here he makes a Twitter video. Let's see. Now, people people call him out. They go, dude, you've been harassing Ela and especially Lena, AB's wife, nonstop. And so this is what he got. And this is why I'm making this video, because this is so good. Watch this here. In the year of 2020, I started tweeting pictures of horses at Ethan Klein because I heard he likes horses. Okay. Well, first of all, I don't, there's this whole thing. I like horses. You're like, come on, bro. I don't like, I, I've, I've never talked about horses in my life. I never said a single tax word in these tweets. It was literally just the picture of a horse. Picture. In Ethan Klein's own brain, he invented a theory. Okay. Hila says she's too pregnant to get up, but she says she can't believe he's doubling down. Yeah, it's pathetic. Well, what's the biggest bitch move? The biggest L is that like he's gonna call you a horse nonstop, but he he's too much of a coward and a bitch to own it. And he's like, I never. Well, let me just play it for the people watching. But he's like, I never called her a horse. Ethan said that. It's like, dude, you're so much of a coward to own what you're saying. Like, bro, at least own it. Okay. This was a guess, all right? He said, Keemstar is tweeting me horses <clears throat> because my wife looks like a horse. That's what he said. I didn't say you look I like a horse. I didn't say that. Ethan Klein compared his own wife to a horse. This is so epic. It's such an epic W. Ethan compared his wife to a horse, you guys. I'll show you guys the, not that you need it, but I'll show you the proof that Keemstar has been nonstop harassing Ela, calling her a horse. Uh, this pathetic, disgusting, physically repulsive manlet has the galls to actually judge another person on their looks, let alone a woman, a beautiful woman, simply because he doesn't like me. This man hates women as much as he hates himself. And... Um, he might. He has tiny hands, by the way. Look at those tiny hands. I just want to say, I have massive hands. And take them from me. That that man has tiny, tiny little baby hands. There was a H three H three fan at the time, Star Killer, who uh, kissed Ethan's butt so much he ended up getting a job for him, and he was defending him left and right, defending all the lies and all the all the BS, right? And I started tweeting him pictures of the Wizard of Oz. Wow, he he started magically tweeting AB pictures of a wit of the Wicked Witch. One day after AB started defending me, what a weird! He's such a bitch. Just own what you're doing, you coward. God, you are so insecure. And I mean, so insecure, dude. Okay. Starkiller was trying to figure out what do these pictures mean? So Starkiller came up with a theory, all right? This was his theory. Again, I'm tweeting pictures of the Wizard of Oz, right? No words, no text, just pictures of the Wizard of Oz. He says, right, his own in his own brain comes up with this theory, this guess, that I am calling Starkiller's wife the Wicked Witch of the West. Hila Klein then also goes on with this theory, this guess, and says Keemstar is called Star Killer's wife, the Wicked Witch of the West. So you got this one fool comparing his wife to a horse, and now this other fool is comparing his wife to the Wicked Witch of the West. I never said any of this. They go on with this lie for years and years and years to the point where the fans are tweeting at me, the H3H3 fans, saying, you bullied uh, so-and-so's wife. You you called him this. You called him that. I'm like, prove it. And now they don't know what to do because I never did any of that. 
<laughs> these two motherfuckers <laughs> He's so funny. compared their yes, wives we, to horses yes. and witches. I had no part in. No. Oh. Yeah, actually, why it's important for me to make these videos because Keemstar is such a um, malignant tumor of, of YouTube and just internet in general is that if you don't, say anything to correct the record, he will run with it to the point where all these little incels on the internet will actually start to to uh, believe that and defend him. So Keemstar says he never harassed Ela or or Lena. So let's just take a look at this video. Keemstar says, I, I, by the way, before I watch the video proving that, you know, he has, let me just show you the actual breadth of harassment H3 is a bad person. I'll attempt to change him into a good person by tweeting pictures of him uh, of horses every day for a year. I hear he likes horses and it makes him feel good. <clears throat> and then he encourages people to harass me too. If you want to help me reform Ethan Klein into a good person, tweet pictures of horses at him. So, okay, great. The I mean, this isn't even all of them, but like he it, it, it it's pretty incredible. Um he says I'm simply trying to brighten your mood. A mutual friend told me you like horses. He's just, it's like, um, this is the man, by the way, who tweets about me two Christmas days in a row. Okay. What? Two years in a row on Christmas day, he's with his family and he's thinking about, uh, me. And again, I have to tell you, this isn't even close to all of them. Um, he's, he's out with his daughter at a petting zoo and he's thinking about me. Is this a horse he tags me, Ethan? Uh, this man is truly demented. Um, check this out. Yeah, I mean, the whole, this is him just, he's looking at the clouds. This is kind of a self own. He's like, God, I'm looking at the clouds and all I see are horses. I mean, self report, bro. You gotta, you're obsessed. That's what it means. Like, if you're seeing, if you're thinking of me looking at the night sky, bro, you might have a problem. Anyway, uh, bully Ethan for 10 years forever. Well, bully me all you want, bro, but uh, don't cry when I, come, when I respond and say I'm bullying your girlfriend. Like, I'm sorry, I'm not as pathetic as you. So here he is. He never, he's never mentioned that Elo looks like a horse. Here it is. Hello, everyone. And welcome to... Shout out to Bo Blacks, who's always got the receipts. Another wonderful podcast. Um, the first of all, I'd like to start... Also, making fun of my Tourette's is always a hit. You know, something completely out of my control. That I uh, spent many years trying to get comfortable on camera because I look like a freak. Uh, Keemstar uh, has no problem uh, harassing me for having Tourette's, so thank you. ...off by wishing all of you a happy... The... Halloween. Dan, why aren't you laughing? I mean, the biggest crime of all, though, is just not being funny, to be honest. You can make fun of me and my wife, but, like, this is just... It's really not funny. It's just sad and pathetic and weird. Dan? Okay, it's, it's too much laughing. Dip. Cut it off. Should we fire him? There you go. King of Star has a picture. Of, he literally went out and bought like a horse statuette. I mean, so it's a, ha a horse statuette with a beanie sitting next to him. And he asks, should we fire Dan? Should we fire him? He's never called you a horse. It's me. I called you a little horse. Awesome, right, guys? He's so clever. So clever. Uh, there's more, of course. Now, if you guys are wondering about his harassment against AB's wife, uh, Lena, because you could say, well, Ela's a public figure, so she's fair game, but Lena is not a public figure. So here, Keem, uh, AB appeared on Keem, on this podcast defending me, and the next day, Keemstar starts tweeting him pictures of the Wicked Witch. 
he starts to p- sending pictures like this to him. Lena, who, by the way, is so beautiful and so sweet, one of the nicest, most wholesome people on the planet. Uh, this is just like some real weird self-hating shit. Like women, he's man hates women. I mean, golly, he really hates his mom. <sighs> Ela dunked on him. Want to know what a bitch is? B being Keemstar, two point eight million followers. I is tweeting at Starkilla with fifteen hundred followers. T to mock his wife's looks. C comparing her to a witch. H ha ha ha. Your tweet got two likes. Freaking owned by Ela. Wow. And Keemstar uh, famously rated Pokimane 2 out of 10. Keemstar's the type of dude to go sniff her chair when she gets up. Do you know what I mean? Like, you you, you are the most un- vile, un- creature that's ever walked this planet Earth. Do you know? Like, here's the Keemstar challenge. Try to get a girlfriend that's over 25 years old. Anyway, guys, I just want to make this video so that he can't worm his way out of saying, like, he never harassed Hila, called her a horse. Which he's been doing nonstop, basically, for years. And even now, as we sit here minding our own business, getting ready to give birth, Hila, who's pregnant, to the point of exploding, is still enduring uh, uh, disgusting attacks on her looks by a 40-year-old disgusting freak who's dating basically teenagers with braces, uh... This man is uh, beyond, he, he, he can't be saved. Can't be saved. He cannot be saved, my friends. Anyway, guys, thank you for all the well wishes. We are sitting here waiting for baby time. And uh, we'll let you guys know when something happens. But until then, we're just waiting. We're waiting. We're chilling. Hila's back hurts. And, uh... Any word? Any last words, Ela? She said Keemstar's a bitch. That's true, actually. I feel like that's scientifically provable. All right, guys. Thank you. Stay good. Wow, Ethan, great moves.